All right, guys. So we have a story out of AP News. You guys probably all heard it. But, yeah, news broke out. The Boy Scouts of America has officially changed their name. And it's it's the purpose of this is to be more inclusive, you know. So they're calling it Scouting America, which is stupid. Um, what the heck does that even mean? Scouting America. Like, what, what does that even mean? Like, like if I'm, like, if I'm new to all this stuff, if I'm new to what Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts are and all this stuff, and I want to, I'm, I'm a child, and my parent asks, hey, do you want to sign up for Scouting America? Uh, Mom, what the heck is that? What the heck is that? What, what, what even is that? Oh, oh, it's Boy Scouts. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's basically, that's basically our problem here. What the heck is Scouting America? They could have at least, like, named it something better than that, I feel like. But, anyway, I have this article out of AP News. It's titled, Boy Scouts of America Changing Name to More Inclusive Scouting America After Years of Woes. This article is written by Jamie Stingle. So, apologize if I say that wrong, Jamie, but, you know, I didn't make your last name. Okay, so... Uh, anyway, it says here, the Boy Scouts of America announced after 114 years that it will change its name and become Scouting America in an effort to emphasize inclusion as it works to move past a turmoil of bankruptcy and a flood of sexual abuse claims. Very interesting about this whole thing is no one wants this except for the, the tippity top of Boy Scouts of America. The Boy Scouts themselves do not want this. Like, it, it's actually kind of funny. Ask any Boy Scout. And this may be anecdotal, okay? This may be anecdotal, but anecdotal is still evidence, okay? And it's, it's definitely telling when every single piece of anecdotal evidence points to the same conclusion. And so when you have literally every single Boy Scout of America that I've seen on TikTok, on Instagram, that I know personally and families of those Boy Scouts saying, hey, this is stupid. We don't want this. I'm ashamed to call myself a Boy Scout because you guys are a bunch of wokey woke wokes. Um, then you know you're wrong, okay? And it's not always true that the majority opinion is right. But again, the actual people of the organization, the reason why Boy Scouts of America exists is because of Boy Scouts, okay? And your own, like, literal customer... Your own entity is telling you, hey, this is wrong. We don't want this. And no one wants this. It's stupid. I doubt even the left genuinely cares whether or not Boy Scouts is named Boy Scouts. Okay? Um, we're going to keep reading this article in a second, but this I want to kind of touch on this. Do y'all remember the classic Ben Shapiro clip where, he's, where he owns his leftist chick? Uh, and she's like, where does it say that Boy Scouts have to be boys? And then Ben Shapiro's like, in the name Boy Scouts. I'm going to include the video. Play it. You are going to dictate to me that I'm supposed to pretend, I'm supposed to pretend that men are women and women are men. No. My answer is no. I'm not going to, I'm not going to modify basic biology because it threatens your subjective sense of what you are. Okay, but you're still saying these kids should, like, not be accepted because they don't really fit in either place? They can't just, like... I'm saying that the Boy Scouts have a standard. You must be a biological boy to be a Boy Scout. You have to be a boy to be a Boy Scout. That written, though? In the name one. Boy Scouts. <laughs> because, because, it, because this is, because this is a, a very... Okay, for, because for all of human history, boy meant boy and girl meant girl. Boy did not mean girl. And girl. And if I call you a moose, are you suddenly a moose? Okay, if I redefine our terms. No, it's a, yeah. So, yeah, anyway, so you have Ben Shapiro, very funny. And what's interesting about this whole story is not only does it ruin the Ben Shapiro meme in the name Boy Scouts, which is so funny, but it also ruins 114 years of tradition. I mean, like, think about it. If you were a Boy Scout, in your childhood i mean i wasn't I, w I had nothing to do with that or and then you worked your way up all the way up until i don't know eagle scout or i don't know i don't know the specifics of it but imagine now now you're gonna have to tell your grandkids that yeah it was once called boy scouts now you have to explain to your grandkid why they re re renamed it maybe it might be a good opportunity to make fun of it and bond with your grandkid i don't know but 
still tradition and and values have kind of just gone down the toilet when it comes to this stuff so it's not it, my friends and a lot of you may understand i mean again i don't have anything to do with boy scouts america but i can imagine something that i've been a part of that i bought into completely changing and flipping on his head i would feel kind of betrayed i would feel very passionate about it and i get i i, I bet you guys feel the same way so Anyway, this rebrand is another shift for an organization steeped in tradition that did not allow gay youths or girls to begin joining its ranks until relatively recently, um, which I, I mean, I don't have a problem with. Uh, you guys might say, well, Jaden, what about what? Why not gay youths? Look, are, are you women OK with straight dudes? changing in your locker room hanging out with you 24 7 and the most uh, going out in the woods with them and, and doing whatever like let's be real bro a lot of these gay dudes are basically just females bro if they, i'm not like i saw this uh clip um i forgot who it was it was uh i think it was tim hardaway senior he's a he's the dad he's the father of a basketball nba basketball player tim hardaway jr and uh, he <laughs> he actually said that I when I played in the NBA I would never be on the same team as a gay person not necessarily because you know gay people are just terrible but because it's the same reason why you don't want to share a locker room with a woman that gay person is attracted to you and so why would you you know and so I'm assuming that's why Boy Scouts of America didn't allow the same sex uh, attractiveness people to be in the ranks. And I, I believe that's fine. Obviously, girls are self-explanatory. But, uh, but it says this, seeking to boost flagging membership numbers, the Irving, Texas-based organization announced the name change Tuesday at its annual meeting in Florida. Uh, it says this, quote, in the next hundred years, we want any youth in America to feel very, very welcome to come into our programs. Roger Crone, who took over the last fall as president and chief executive officer, told the Associated Press, in an interview before the announcement the change will effectively take place on february 8 2025 timed to the organization's 115th birthday man <laughs> man that sucks i feel bad for y'all bro um i guarantee you so i you know what so their whole point of this is to allow more people to come in they want to leave more room for people to come in but i guarantee you this is going to make their numbers like drop because people are not going to have this again like you saw how with bud light target all these places boy scouts of america is no different the organization began allowing gay youth in 2013 and ended a blanket ban on gay adult leaders in 2015 in 2017 it made a historic announcement that girls will be accepted as cub scouts as of 2018 and into the flagship boy scout program renamed scout to bsa in 2019 over 6,000 girls have now achieved the vaunted Eagle Scout rank. Man, that sucks. That really sucks. Because, again, like, like I really think that, like, there's something proud to, like, there's something prideful about being, in a good way, by the way, about being a Boy Scout or Eagle Scout as a guy, you know, and, and, and as, a, as a female. I mean, don't they have Girl Scouts? Like, they have Girl Scouts, right, Tyler? Yeah, they have Girl Scouts. Oh, yeah, here's this right here. The Girl Scouts of the USA, a separate organization. Why the heck would you... Hold up. Why the heck would you... You already have Girl Scouts. Wait a minute. Yeah, they have Girl Scouts. Girl Scout cookies. Those are... Actually, no. Nah, those are overrated. Those are overrated. None of them are ever soft. They're always hard. And honestly, the flavors aren't... I'll get the mint ones. The mint ones are good. The chocolate mint ones. You ever had those? The lemon ones? Mm, those are pretty good, too. But most of them are like, ah, I'm good. I'll just do it to help you out, <laughs> you know? <laughs> anyway, there's Girl Scouts. Why the heck? Okay. A separate organization has clashed with the Boy Scouts in recent years over its recruitment of girls. The Girl Scouts, hold up. Wait a minute. Can I read that again? The Girl Scouts of the USA, a separate organization, has clashed with the Boy Scouts in recent years over its recruitment of girls. Bro. So... Not only do the Boy Scouts themselves not support this, but the Girl Scouts, women don't, don't, they don't even agree with this, according to leftist associate press. Bro, what? I didn't even know this. A wave of reaction to the change on social media included criticisms that the word boy will no longer appear in the name, including from Republican Senator Ted Cruz of Texas, which he's absolutely correct. 
Like other organizations, the Boy Scouts of America lost members during the pandemic when participation was difficult. After a high point over the last decade of over 2 million members in 2018, the organization recently uh, uh, currently serves just over 1 million youth. So they lost half in just two years. For the pandemic, including more than 176 girls and young women, membership peaked in 1972 at almost five million. So they've just been going down over the years in general. I mean, that's why they they've been losing, they've been losing membership, and they they decided to bend the knee to the woke mob, and uh, in, in hopes of getting their numbers back up. Um, honestly, I don't really need to read any more of this. Uh, uh yeah, I mean, who cares? It's a yeah, I mean, it's just a bunch of woke stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Who cares? So, um, yeah. So basically in, in conclusion, my friends, this has officially gone too far. I mean, like, look now, even Girl Scouts are saying, Hey, this is wrong. Um, don't, don't, don't take this away from us. Like we're, we're trying to get people to, we're, we want girls, you know? And I guarantee you, my Girl Scouts here. Here's an idea. Why don't you just take out Girl Scouts of America, make it make it something gender neutral, like the Boy Scouts of America did, and steal some of their steal some of their membership. At this point, who cares? Who's in? It doesn't matter. I mean, girls aren't girls anyway. I mean, what is a woman? You know, let me join Girl Scouts of America. I'll sell some cookies. You know, I'll take part in the in getting the patches and, and earning my my way up into on the totem pole. You know, so yeah. Anyway, this is all just stupid. Um, it, it's a bunch of hocus pocus, and um, and yeah, I, I don't understand that. By the way, my friends, I do want to go ahead and address this very very soon. I am coming out with some Let It Be Heard merch. I know, right? Super exciting stuff, and I've already built the website. It's actually live, but I'm not done adding things. Um, however, my friends, I am so excited for this. Let me tell you why. It's not just going to be some podcast merch with my logo on it or my name on it. Okay, that's lame. You guys don't want to buy that. Okay, I don't want to buy that. But I want to make it very easy to support the show and causes that you support while also repping what you guys believe in. And so I decided to go down a more pathway where it's more like a clothing line so my friends you get access to to christian apparel conservative apparel you want a premium tote bag i got it for you we got pro-life tote bags we got conservative sweatshirts we got christian shirts it's gonna be live very soon and i'm so excited to drop this for you guys um but in the meantime just be patient with me i'm working through all this by myself but i just want to go ahead and tease that for you guys because I'm super excited to drop all this stuff. Um, and Lord willing, uh, I'll be able to tease some of the merch uh, in a few episodes. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that article. I mean, this story is crazy. I can't believe that they actually changed the name. But anyway, coming up next, I'm super excited, my friends. We have this amazing girl named Taylor. She was a Christian who worked at Starbucks and was fired for her beliefs. So stay tuned for that.